Hello and welcome to another Take 5 video. My name is John Recknagel, Precast Application Specialist. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing macros. In particular, we're going to be discussing precast macros that come available and helps with cast unit drawing. So let's jump into the model. Here we are inside our basic structural traditional. In our last Take 5, we kind of walked through this model at a very high level to kind of point out some of the features. So I thought we'd kind of piggyback right on that. So what we're gonna start off with is uh, this double T here. And I have since deleted the cast unit drawing. So I'm gonna make one really quickly. And we're gonna take a look at it and then go through some of the cast unit drawing macros here. So that drawing finished, we're gonna come here to the double T drawing DT 101. Now the reason for this video is a lot of our customers don't even know that these macros exist and they can definitely help speed up a lot of different attributes of your um, drawing process. So inside the drawings here, you'll notice a couple things here um, with the double T, some of the you know views may be you know, rotated on end, you may be missing a couple dimension strings from maybe your lifters or a strand depression. Maybe the sizing of your views isn't exactly right. That's exactly what these macros are made to help with. So what you can do is you can open up your applications and components over here on the side and make sure this tick box for show hidden items is on. And then you can simply search for these different macros that you want to utilize. Now I've customized my UI ribbon on top to kind of highlight some of the most useful ones that I use on a daily basis. So I'll be highlighting um, some of these. We won't have time to go through all of them, but. I'm going to highlight a couple of these throughout the demonstration today. So the first and foremost, you can come to your applications and components and just type in rotate. Again, with that tick box on, you'll see this rotate sections top and form. All you have to do is double select that in your drawings and you'll notice um, you know, the wheel spinning as Tecla goes and flips your sections around and it's also going to resize your different views and then replace them. Depending on the length of your T, you, know, you may see your section cuts come over here on the side or whatever. Tecla is just doing its best to fill up that entire drawing space area. So that's what the rotate sections top and form does. Um, next, let's maybe talk about strand depression. So oftentimes a, um, you know, there is a vertical dimension placed on the bottom side of the T to locate what that depression dimension is. It's very challenging to grab that through Tecla's AI, so we've developed this strand depression macro. You have to simply select that, and then there's your strand depression location, bottom point, and then uh, also vertical dimension there. Uh, next, some of these lifting loops um, or lifting anchors can be somewhat challenging to grab the center of, especially if they're drawn with rebar. Um, you know, there's multiple handles here and it just kind of causes some confusion within the AI. So we've developed um, a macro for that as well. So this guy right here, all we have to do is single select on that guy and then that's going to go ahead and put in our strand, or sorry, our lifter's center line dimension. I also just remember it's probably important to point out the names of each of these. So if we hover over this one, this one's called create strand. So if you just come over here on the side, you can type in create. Um, you've got the create strand lifter dimension. That's what we just did here in the brown. And then the create strand depress, depress dimensions. That's this guy here. So those are the last two that I just showcased. Um, next, let's maybe talk about some of the drawing scale size. So let's say you, you know, this is this is great for you, these five views, but let's say you need to maybe add a couple section cuts or maybe show a couple standard, you know, lifting dunnage, things like that. Uh, we have a way to decrease your main views. So this one here, if you type in decrease main views, type it in over here, and then you'll see the nice negative sign there. Um, if we run this, what this will do is this will go ahead and shrink everything down, shrink those main views down. Um, and then if you want it to do your section cuts as well, you can actually select your section cuts and then run this macro and it'll actually shrink down your section cuts as well. And then likewise, um, you, th this is, this is going to decrease it down to that next available uh, scale size. But then likewise, we have the increase. So this one here, if you just come to your applications and components and you type in increase, you see the nice plus sign. Um, you can double select and run this. And this is now gonna fill, um, you'll fill up your available drawing space. And then again, you can 
while holding control select on these different views and increase that just like that so very very handy and often used um, next let's maybe jump into a wall panel um, with some corbels on there to showcase these guys okay next we have a wall panel here this is a ramp wall where we have our double T corbels here you can see how they're kind of at a, a slant for drainage and what we're going to do now is we're just going to run this create horizontal uh, work point dimensions again you can come here type in create if your panel is laying horizontally in your drawing you can run this one if your panel is vertical you can run this one so basically if we run this um, you'll see we'll get nice work point dimensions on either side of our corbels now one caveat to how this thing is actually working, there's a small little work point rod here. Um, and let me jump to the model space. This work point rod is where these dimensions are being pulled from. So you can see it's just this tiny, um, if you go to your steel beam, save as properties, you'll see work point rod there. Just a tiny little um, you know, rod that has a class 544 in it. And Tecla basically just looks for those handles on either side. You can either manually drop this in or you could have it incorporated you know, um, into your custom components so that way that rod is already created. The option is completely um, up to you. And then last but not least, um, I'm just gonna model a quick little slab here with some rebar sets. And then, uh, or sorry, and then reinforce it with some rebar sets. So if I just draw a little slab and I'm just going to put some rebar by face and I'm going to do both axes here so just like that so now if I come here and then I go to my drawings say create casting a drawing for a slab and then say create drawings casting a drawing Okay, so this last uh, macro that we're gonna be showcasing today is around rebar sets. So if I open up my document manager here and go to created slab drawing. Right here, FS100. So this one is really um, geared mainly towards our users using rebar sets. A lot of our utility underground folks are using rebar sets a lot um, and basically what this macro will allow us to do is to automatically show a lot of our rebar dimension strings um, with that single click so to start off I'm going to open up this view and I'm just going to make sure that our reinforcement is turned on so it's visible it must be getting filtered out yep here it is delete modify okay there's our reinforcement and we can just pretend like these are not on here delete delete okay so we will basically come up to uh, this guy here which is create rebar set dimensions so um, again create rebar set dimensions looks like this right here and basically all we have to do is just select that and then you'll you'll see these rebar um, properties open up and kind of open and close as it scans through all your different views but then when all is said and done, you'll see we, you'll get these nice associative uh, rebar set dimension strings on your piece. And then now you can take them if you want to you know, close anything out. You can just add a dimension point or something on the ends very quickly and very easily. There you have it. Um, so this is rebar sets, um, the create rebar set dimensions. And um, I think this is going to wrap it up for the take five showcasing the macros. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. And remember that if you find that you're constantly using certain macros, make sure that you add them to your customized UI ribbon at the top. So thank you guys very much for watching. Take care.